Welcome back, comrades, to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the Workers' Paradise, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. And, hmm, I have turned off our national focus, which was construction repair, because our situation is desperate for political power. Even after turning it off, we're only gaining 0.45 and the reason why is we haven't been gaining any more in China or Brazil. I think they may have changed how the dynamic works. So I have started a coup in China. Since 40% seems to be the max that we can get, I've started a coup. It's going to take a while for that coup to happen. And I don't have the political power to start a coup in Brazil at the same time. Brazil is not as important as getting a coup in China. Manpower in China doesn't scare me, even though I have played as China and conquered the world as China. That video is under wraps for now. I'm saving it. Just, I don't want the distraction. I want to wipe out the Allies and win the war. China will be forced to bend a knee to us. One thing I did not do was take a look at our navies. I should start building some ASW fleets, anti-submarine warfare, some escort fleets, and leave them behind and move the main fleets up front. A lot of ships are damaged. Let's send them back. be splitting that fleet this time. The Arctic fleet only has destroyers. I could split that and use that as an escort fleet. 33, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I know, a slow start, damn it. And we don't have any commanders. As I said, our situation is desperate. to move them forward in, at a future date. Do we have anyone working on the Arctic fleet? We do not. So let's go ahead and start building some more destroyers for the Arctic fleet. If we're just going to split the Arctic fleet, for anti-submarine warfare, we may as well start planning on a permanent addition to it. Alright, let's get this bad boy going. I've talked shit long enough. Our situation in India is damn good. I did pull back an army because we got supply issues. Let's go with this from the start. See, we got supply issues. But they don't have any ports available. So their supply issues are much worse than ours. Whereas we have issues with supply. They have no supply. Uh, let's take a look at our situation. 
Not bad. I won't add any construction in the south. Zukov is running in the resistance. Take a break. Plan it out. I would like to start planning an invasion. But I don't want to tie up our transports. We can only transport 100 divisions. Damn. They're throwing around a bunch of planes getting air superiority on us. Well, we're still advancing in Africa. That's positive. Let's go ahead and work on this. Spread your troops out, and hopefully they'll be better supplied. And that's it. We have achieved victory in the south. Train your troops up. You're going to invade Cylon. I believe we already have naval superiority there. We're still advancing in Africa. Smirnoff. You are all German divisions. So I'm not worried about you, to be honest. You are also all German divisions. I don't see any Soviet units in there. Alright, where's Zukov? He is also there. Go, dog. Maybe with all three there. Right, we got closer. Will that gain us air superiority? No. Yes, it does. Good deal. What the hell is this? Start a lend-lease request from the Romanian Republic. Oh, no. Because I don't want you to get more autonomy. Give that up. down here. Got to have some someplace. Jeez, there they are. There's the cheesy ones. Where's the good ones? About halfway through. Three hundred should do the trick. Floating airfield. Now, why in the Maybe because it got this, the orders got distracted by the fact that we had that research finish. And 
And unfortunately, that's not doing us any good. Alright, as soon as you get done marching around in circles, you'll figure out that it's better. Extend your line to there. No, 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 no. Not that. Extend it. Don't create a new line. Jeez. There we go. Much better. Doing crazy stuff again. It does say we have low manpower, but since we still have over 4 million, I'm not worried about it. If we gained experience sinking convoys, I would hold back ships. Equipment required for division reinforcements. Shouldn't we have enough? We got the tank destroyers there. Do we have enough self propelled yet to put them into place? Yes, we do. Finally. That took long enough. Somebody needs to feed, give the workers more food so they'll uh, build more self-propelled guns. Now what I'm going to have to do here is to get across the Atlantic and attack the U.S. Normally I go the northern route. Iceland, Greenland, and then I land. I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to take the Azores, Bermuda, and then multiple landings across the U.S. front. Hopefully it will cause a quick surrender. What's the U.S.? 75% national unity. Okay, it may not cause a quick surrender. But still, most of the victory points are in the Northeast and the Midwest. Which is why when you attack from the west, you can get all the way over to here before you actually force a surrender. Alright, uh, what other army do we got? Okay, you are all the Far East. You are all occupation. Change you up to occupation and defense. And we got Marines too. Well, obviously, we're going to go for Marines 3 since we're building a bunch of Marines and we need them to do their thing. You must be all foreign units. Well, not, yeah, you are all foreign divisions. Let's give you some more troops. Quest forces. Give me all six of your divisions. Royce! Not attaching, attacking Somalia because Ethiopia is not in the war yet. In case you're new, if you're not new, you already know that. And we have won the well, Southern India battle. All right, 
start training, take a break. Don't be cussing. Off as semi confident. You're semi confident. You're semi confident. Try beating them up. You are Low training. Train. You still need, in need of more training. I'm thinking I could should could go ahead and send them as is and just not use divisions that are not fully trained. All right, let's plan out our invasion. I'm thinking five divisions. Landing at each port. I wish I could say simultaneously, but it doesn't always work out like that. We are pushing them back ever so slowly. It's got to be supply issues, or Zukov is supplied. Supplied. We got good supply. They're just dug in and being a pain in the ass. That's all it is. All right, how are things going in Africa? All right, you finally got yourself into a semi-confident position. Start marching forward. We have to take South Africa because I want to. Okay, only 17 days to start the invasion of Sion. Not bad. He's advancing nicely. Better than what's going on in India. Except Zukov is still moving. Oh, hell no. Okay. Can you turn around that battle? Probably not because there's 15 divisions there. We surround them, but we just can't. Okay. Real combat against the Dutch East Indies. Nice little victory right there. That is telling me I got free civilian factories. Stop that. Not that I have that many. <laughs> Actually, I got a lot of civilian factories, but. We're repairing damage positions. And that's what we're going to be hearing a lot of once we invade the U.S. Because I'm going to have next to no civilian factories working. So that as we are moving forward, we will be improving infrastructure. But we will also be repairing it. Someone in the Bay of Bengal. So, I don't have anyone over there? Or did he go off to lick his wounds someplace? I 
maybe that's him right there. Yeah, I think he's in combat. I do believe that's the situation. I may as well plan our invasion of the Azores. Where is you get a job? Same concept, five divisions. Looks good so far. Bunch of victories against convoys. Four. Not a bunch, but four. I'm hoping that's the case with him. That <clears throat> it's just because those subs are in combat. Yeah, I got up. I don't know what you're saying. Go back to Smirnoff. I understand Smirnoff. I understand vodka. Got up. They were offering us. Yes, we are at a deficit with anti tanks again. Damn it, man. Well, I'm not going to play that game. Start building more anti-tank guns. We have plenty of tungsten and steel, even after requisitioning those forces. We have over a thousand spare steel, almost 500 spare tungsten. We're doing okay. Smirnov. Hey, there we go, Smirnov. Yes, I will take more Smirnoff. Thank you very much, comrade. Of course, I am worried about our rear. What the hell is that? Yeah, I got up. I'm always wondering what these noises are. Sometimes I've learned to associate certain ones. Yeah, we have resistance problems again. Got up with Vigatsa. Still, oh, he's in combat again. Still in combat down here as well. Mirna. Eight more days there. He has enough days. Let's set up some air support for him. He may not need it. Ew. I don't see any airfield that close. Aha. Wasn't paying enough attention. Tactical bombers, jet fighters. I'd like to send some close air support. I don't see any close air support. I have to have some of them somewhere. There's. Two hundred close air support. I just give them all missions because it's convenient. Uh, 
Start and let lace. I be fine. You don't. Well, not you don't deserve any autonomy. You have not been communist long enough to be trusted. Sheesh! Come on now, comrade. You have to earn respect. Wait a minute. What the hell? Okay, no eyes. Mm. Okay, we have eight spares. Let's build some light cruisers. For the arc complete, let's make it ten. I like to give the anti-submarine a little bit of a punch. And light cruisers are effective against submarines, just not as effective. Okay, you're ready, go. What about you? Oh, I gave you a go. You are moving. Good deal. Well, that was successful. Now, he is successful. We'll be able to end this episode one step closer. What the hell? I thought this was controlled by China. It's not. That's controlled by China. I'll have to take that out just to make sure that... Continue working on other escorts. I'll have to take this out just to stop the Allies. Stop the Americans from getting their navies too close to me. Because there's still limitations on range. Subs have some hellacious range, but... How many surface ships do they have? Well, total ships. 21 to 24. Which is just enough to annoy the living hell out of me. If it's in one of these Got 582 ships. They're scattered. There's uh, the same problem that the British had during World War II. It's one thing the advantage the Germans had. It's one thing if you're going to annoy your enemy with your navy and try to pick where you want to fight them. It's something else if you're going to control the seas. So, yeah. I don't... Because my fleets are mostly submarines, I don't like shrinking them down too small. You won't see me willingly use a fleet smaller than 20. There we go. Victory, brothers. And how is it going over here? We're getting close to... Only question is, if this succeeds, should I knock out what's behind me first or go after Bermuda next? Oh, what the hell, I'll do both. Uh-oh. Americans had too many divisions there and they ruined their own supply situation? Not too bright, guys. Let's just wait for victory and then we will pause it. We're getting close. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, that's...
Oh. Okay, I see what happened. They tried to send reinforcements, and the reinforcements landed after we had achieved victory. So, good deal. Well, people, that's it for this video. I want to thank all of you for watching these videos. I really do appreciate all of you. Be sure to leave your comments, your ideas, and your observations down below. And as we are getting closer to final victory, let me know who you think I should play next. France or Japan? France or Japan? So until I see you all again next time, bye-bye.